hello friends uh, welcome back to vlsf app guys uh, like we are meeting after a long time some of you might be the recent subscriber uh, just requesting you guys to just go through the channel and i always try to make videos from like practical perspective view so uh, like you will get all the vlsf related contents and guys uh, if you like this video do like share and subscribe just to motivate uh, so today we will uh, discuss few of the important commands in timing analysis because most of us knows like uh, the theory and all but uh, when it comes to actual tracing and debugging the things uh, you might get confusion like how to do it and uh, like which command to uh, which command to go for so please watch till last and uh, comment me out if any doubt let's start the video without wasting time so before going to learn debugging or tracking tricks let's uh, check how to get the basic info of clocks so report report underscore clock will help you this will give you the master and generated source both so always remember in the naming convention itself like uh, you will come to know as the master clock will come from like come like clkm then generated will be like clkg so in the naming convention you can identify and as you can see in the diagram that uh, report clock will cover the blue section like master to generated info you will get from the report clock and from generated to sync how will you debug that i will tell you in the upcoming slides so now uh, to trace from generated clock to different syncs or flops like we usually use all fan out command this command is like widely used to check the connectivity moreover like we can filter using some switches such as hyphen levels and uh, hyphen pin levels like that so i mean you can count the maximum number of cell levels to traverse and uh, suppose you just want to check the connectivity of any two pins in the design you can check with the given commands below so suppose in your design uh, you want to know all the instance names with c inverter 8p so guys uh, as you know like uh, in a chip like there will be several kind of uh, uh, standard cells will be there suppose some of some of will be some buffers some inverters then some VL level shifters like that correct so clock getting cells correct so suppose you want to know all the instance name with the c inverter 8p drive strand so the first command will help you to find this and suppose uh, now suppose you want to check full instance names okay but you know only some portion of the instance name so to get the full name full instance name use the second command so guys uh, i have just uh, given few commands okay so if you like this video just comment it out i will definitely <coughs> i will be doing i will be preparing the part 2 so it will be coming very soon thank you guys and please do like share and subscribe